Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Wilson's uh, Sessions. Uh, I actually want to do a review today of the Bose T1 Tone Match system right here. Mm. Alright, and uh, first thing I want to talk about what is actually inside the Tone Match. Uh, you get a nice little uh, DVD, or I guess it's CD-ROM. Uh, for the engine and for installing stuff on your computer you get a ethernet cable now this actually connects to the back of the tone match system and it goes right into the direct base of the L1S and the uh, L1 version 2 which is the larger one uh, that goes directly into the back but if you have a compact L1 like I do, you can't really use this. So, uh, I'll get back into that in a minute. But those are going to come in the bag. There's also going to be a bracket which latches onto the back of your L1S and your L1 version 2, which are the two larger ones. Um, and also, there is this bracket where it kind of attaches here and then slides right in with this other bracket right here. See, it has like a little lip and a little lip. This lip goes right in here and then goes down and then locks in place. And then your T1 just kind of sits in like that. Not exactly a fan of this, but I figured it's actually um, pretty decent. Uh, feels like an actual metal and uh, more than likely would work pretty well but I'm just not a big fan uh, also with the T1 you also have this plate that's on the front cover let me get this right here when you pull it out of the box this is what your T1 engine looks like a little back plate there and all the connections right there and uh, your Ethernet is going to obviously go right here. And uh, you got a little USB connection so you can actually attach it to your computer and do all kinds of fun stuff. Now you've got three of these combination inputs that are going to be your uh, quarter inch into the XLR. So you can use three microphone inputs. And you also have these three quarter inch outputs. And then your two more inputs for this is going to be channel one two three this is going to be your fourth channel and your fifth channel so you got those and then you have an auxiliary out and then your master out so you got a lot of functions on this thing under your top casing you just hit this button and it slides right off now under the hood you got this like a little latch right here and this little bracket fits right in there and then you just pour put that lap up and then a little hideaway spot and you can leave this attached to the back of your uh, L1S or your L1 version 2 and it should be just fine with getting into the meat of this this is going to be your actual engine this right here is going to be all your mute buttons and all your actual games are going to be right here and then all your other adjustments now with this system also uh, you can have your edit Let's see if you can get your edit buttons are going to be right here so you can individually edit each channel that you want to and then you can actually mute all the effects on each channel if you want to you also have the option oh yeah and this is your uh, your master uh, volume control and then your phantom power if uh, you want to run uh, certain microphones through so if you need that extra power to kick in it'll give you that um, you also have global options which is going to be right here in the in the uh, black section now with your global options it actually uh, adjusts all the channels at the same time so if you want to run a certain um, echo effect or anything like that through that global channel, it'll affect all the channels.
So it'll give you that kind of functionality. But you also have, you can adjust your auxiliary channel out. So if you want to do like a lower volume or do a different type of preset on your auxiliary. So if you're running like a low sub or anything like that, you can adjust that. Uh, you also have a built-in tuner, uh, which is pretty handy, especially if you're doing a lot of acoustic gigs. And, um, you know, you can obviously tune through the, through the machine or if you already have your built-in tuner on your acoustic instrument, that works out pretty well too. Uh, your tone match. This is this is definitely a little bit more of a bigger deal. Uh, with the tone match system, it basically gives you um, a lot of uh, different presets for a lot of different manufacturers. So if you have like a Rickenbacker 4001, uh, if you have uh, a certain microphone, like a SM58 or something like that, or um, you know, different microphones, different drum kits. If you want to put an electric drum kit through here, there's a preset for electric drum kits. Uh, so if you want to, you know, do the bass and and uh, you know, kick that in high gear, that's pretty good. It also has this. Uh, it's called a Z EQ. It's like a intelligent EQ, so you can basically take your presets and adjust them even farther, so you can get more of a tweak and more of a um, uh, in-depth sound or if you have what you would like to have a signature sound then you can preset your channel that you're going to be playing through through your signature sound and it'll be there all the time um, also you're going to have your parrot EQ so you can adjust it even farther so you get more bass more mid um, you can uh, put in different types of channels you're also going to have a compression gate um, you have multiple different kinds of compressions, light, mid, heavy. Uh, you also have um, a, uh, a mod station to where you can get, uh, you know, different types of effects. Uh, you also have a delay and a reverb, and you got multiple delays and reverbs. So it's not just uh, one or two of them. You have a decent amount that are going to be on this. Um, the uh, One of the best things... Uh, about this is the fact that you can have all your different sets you know ready to go for you at a moment's notice and with uh, there's also a little section here going into the, the global selection um, you have what's called scenes or they're um, already installed presets for what Bose already had intended for what it was used for but uh, you also have, I think there are five presets, but you can actually edit up to 10 of them and personalize your, your tone engine the way you want it to. So you can get your exact sound the way you want it, when you want it. And if you're in a gig and you're playing something and you wanna go ahead and cut the effect on your certain channel, you can do that. If you wanna do a global cutoff, you can also do that too. Um, but then you can also have, you know, whichever type of, Preferences when you're switching over you can adjust the sound um, That's coming out of certain channels So if you want to dial down and then you can kind of go back and double check on the screen That um, that everything is going the way that it should and everything is sounding the way that it should um, Also, it gives you a very good display when it is actually uh, plugged in um, But the one thing I had to go back to as far as um, when I purchased the engine, the engine itself, everything came with it, everything was fine. But um, since I use the compact, uh, you actually have to go through uh, Guitar Center or Bose uh, to order the actual wall plug so you can actually gain power while using your compact system. Because that Ethernet cable is not going to be able to plug into your compact system. So uh, purchasing this right here, little plug. Got a little Ethernet, and on the other side of it, you actually have the wall plug and the other little plug right here that's kind of right in the way. There it is. Okay, so that plugs in here, that goes into the wall. And also, when you buy this, it also comes with a, um, a universal connector. So when you're going overseas, you can deal with that and then obviously that plugs into there too so it's it's actually pretty worth it if you're you know if you want to go ahead and 
and get this or sometimes if you don't have a choice but you actually get what you pay for when you buy this I think it's only like $24 or something like that so it's not it's not gonna be too heartbreaking but also let me um, this uh, plugged in real quick because uh, one of the great things about this engine is okay one of the great things about this is not only the fact that this thing is freaking awesome it definitely kicked ass but you plug it in and it's got a cool little latch right here that locks in that ethernet so when you put this in you hear that clicking noise it doesn't come out right there all right so now you got that and then you got a little power switch right here so when you turn this baby on bam everything is displayed everything's easy to see you know all your mute buttons they're all good to go all your knobs have that uh, glow on them they actually have the little individual glows in there you can change your channels adjust your channels however you want to mute your effects however you want to just like I said before now when you're playing in a gig and uh, there's very bad lighting or whatever you can actually see your display very clearly and see it's gonna be kind of hard to see on there but um, I have it set to a Fender 69 J base and you just hit your preset you readjust it and it'll give you I don't know if you can actually see that but you just click active and you go to a 69 J or um, Music Man Stingray or Lakeland or Rickenbacker or you can just go to a different category keyboards, acoustic guitars, electric guitars, vocals, go into a utility, go into keyboards, basses, percussion, wind or horn, special DJ, Taylor, or uh, Audix mics. You get a whole ton of stuff. Turn the fan power off. So this is definitely a worthwhile buy. If you have other mixers, that's good too, but I'm definitely in love with this thing. All right, uh, use it, play it, and um, you, know, you can plug it into whichever PA system you have at home. Or for me, if I'm gonna go to a gig, all I need to do is take this because all my presets are already loaded. Just plug it this into the PA that they already have, and I'm good to go. All right, thanks everybody. Have a good time, and if you're not playing, you're not living.